Hi, everyone. My name is Fabian. I'm a program manager for Azure File Shares and Azure File Sync. And today we want to take a look at migration from an on-premises NAS to an Azure File Share. So for that, I've invited Krishna from our Azure partner company, Comprise, to give us a short demo of her tool. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Fabian. Great to be here. And um, yeah, we look forward to showing you a live demo of how to migrate from an on-prem NAS into Azure Files. Great, great. Excellent, excellent. So let's dive right in. Let's have a look. How does this work? OK, great. So what I'm uh, doing here is going into the Comprise console. Uh, and the first thing we are going to do is just connect Comprise to your uh, shares. So here uh, we are picking an EMC Isilon NAS. Uh, and we literally just have to give the IP address of the NAS. Comprise discovers the shares on it. And we're going to pick that Corp Marketing One share to migrate from. Of course, we could pick any NAS we want, and you can see a list of the different NAS vendors that we support here. Uh, and you can pick one of them and find the shares on it. Yeah, and I just use the Isilon as an example. Oh, great. That's a that's a big list. And if I just have uh, any random SMB share in my environment, I'm sure I'll find a home here on this list. Exactly. You can any SMB or NFS share. If you have a specific share, you would just say specify share and you can pick it and you can migrate from it. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so once you've set up your share to migrate from, uh, you can uh, then set the Azure files as a target. And here I'm showing you the share in Windows Explorer so you can see all the files that we're going to migrate into Azure files. And here I'm also showing you Azure files mounted in the Windows Explorer to show you that uh, currently it's empty. So this is the destination that we're going to migrate to. Great, that's good to see. So it's just a mounted Azure file share as a network drive to your Windows server. That's great. Exactly. And actually that same Azure file share, if you just went into uh, Azure through the browser and saw it, you would see that it's empty here as well. Okay, so now we're ready to start our migration. So we're going to add a migration job. We're going to pick that Isilon Corporate Marketing One share as the source, and we're going to pick this Azure Files share that we just showed you as the destination. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we, of course, want to migrate all the metadata, like the access control and access times. So we're specifying that. And then we start the migration and then Comprise starts actually migrating the data according to our plan. Um, and you can see some of the details of the migration here. You can see the source and the destination. You know, it's about 20 files here. You can see that it's started running the migration. So you're get getting all the details as it goes through the migration. Excellent, excellent. And so, um... As you're going from uh, your file share uh, on premises to your Azure file share, you're going to run this as one job or multiple jobs. How does this how does this work? Yeah, that's a great question, Fabian. Comprise is a distributed scale out architecture, so it actually parallelizes the job. So it runs multiple threads and multiple VMs. You know, this is a small job, so there's just one VM running, but Comprise runs that in parallel, so it can run very fast. Uh, in fact, you know, um, on average, we're over 27 times faster uh, than tools like Robocopy or RSync uh, because of that architecture. Uh, and it's copying everything, including the metadata and access controls. Oh yeah, that's a very important aspect. Yep. So now you can see as the migration is running, it's already started populating that Azure file share. And you can see that some of the files are fully copied. Others are in the process of getting migrated. Uh, and when we go to the Windows Explorer view, you can see many more files have already gotten fully copied in this time. And if you click on the properties of a file, you can see that it's not only the file, but all the permissions have been copied as well. So different users have different access control and all of that has migrated over into Azure files correctly. And if you open the file, uh, it's opening just like any other file would, except it's coming from the cloud now. So this is coming from the Azure files share. 
Excellent, excellent. Yeah, migration of, of the full file fidelity is super important. Echoes, timestamps, uh, attributes of files, all of this um, coming from the source to the target is, is very important. So it's great to see that. Yeah, and in some industries, you actually have to show that you ran an MD5 checksum on every file, like uh, pharmaceutical companies. Uh, and so Comprise actually does that. It sends, gives you a report showing that we did an MD5 checksum on every single file uh, for full file integrity. So um, now we can go back to Comprise and we can see, uh, you know, um, here we're showing that everything got migrated. Uh, and if you go into Comprise and you look at the table, it's of course showing that the migration was completed 100% uh, and is giving you all the details of what it did. Um, in this example, it was a pretty small uh, share. In real life, you know, you'd probably have a much larger share, lots of data on it. And as you're migrating, users could still be using that share and they could be making changes on it. Uh, and that's entirely okay because Comprise runs additional iterations and incrementally copies those changes over. And then whenever you're ready for a final cutover, you just have to start that final iteration and then you can mark the uh, migration is completed. That's excellent. That's excellent because as, as part of any migration, the, the user cutover in the end is a very important step and you want to keep downtime to a minimum. So being able to run multiple iterations of the job means that you can hone in on how many changes have occurred since the last time you've run it and that assures that a job can finish quickly. And that means you have a very small downtime window. I really like seeing this. This is great. Yeah. So hopefully Fabian, this demo gave you a view of how easy it is to set up migrations and comprise from any NFS or SMB into Azure files. Uh, and the best part is, you know, this is not only for migrations, uh, so there's no sunk costs. Uh, we didn't show it in this demo, but you can then use Comprise to analyze all the data and to manage the life cycle of that data on Azure. Great. That's excellent. So if I'm if I'm convinced that's what I want to do, how do I get in touch? How do I deploy this? Yeah, you can look at Comprise on the Azure Marketplace or just email us azure at comprise.com. And in fact, uh, your first five terabytes of migration to Azure files will do absolutely free. Oh, that's great. So you can try it out, see if it works for you, and then uh, that's excellent. Thank you so much for coming in today, for showing us this awesome tool. Uh, really happy to have you as an Azure partner. Thank you, Fabian. We're very excited to work with Azure.